Hello Libra! Welcome to your abundance reading for June the 16th to the 30th, 2021. Let's get started. So as you can see, the cards have already been pulled out for you uh, during the shuffle they came out, so we can get straight into it. The first card you've got is Organize for Success. Um, there is a feeling here of getting prepared for something. I feel like there's something coming up that for a lot of you, you know about. Um, I'm hearing money making opportunity. Uh, it could be that it's a specific event or it could just be that you are approaching a time now where uh, it's fruitful. There are a lot of opportunities flying around and this is your time, this is your chance um, to make some coins. So they're saying um, to use the time just before this period to get yourself ready, to get yourself organized. Uh, they're talking about getting yourself ready in terms of your physicality. So maybe you, I don't know what that means, to getting yourself, because they're showing me the body. So um, maybe that's, maybe what you're doing is something that includes physical labor or it involves you having to be on your A game with, with your attention and uh, your sharp mental agility, sharpness, things like that. But they are highlighting to organize yourself and get yourself ready, um, physically speaking, because they're showing me, they're actually showing me someone who's stretching. Maybe that has relevance to you. Uh, somebody who's uh, looking at their, what food they're eating, getting enough sleep, things, just good um, healthy habits. Um, but there is a sense of, yeah, thank you. They're saying warming up. It's like you have to warm up for something. Um, and you want to uh, be able to maximize your productivity. They're saying your energy levels and you want to sort of make, utilize the time um, that's coming up as best as possible because I, I really get the sense that it could be something that's seasonal or um, it's okay. They're showing me some kind of, um, what is that? Like a, um, I don't remember the term, but there, there's those kind of events where um, like a trade show, I guess it would be something like a trade show where uh, pop-up stalls and people at market even, and um, there's an opportunity to, they're also saying to liaise or to create business opportunities as well. So if that's you, then you'll, you'll know who you are. Um, they're, they're, okay, they also just said to me, you may get an invite for something and it may be um, last minute. So so they're wanting, Spirit is wanting to give you a heads up and say, start preparing now as best as you can. Um, the card itself says, do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. So they're also saying to me about being intentional, um, knowing what you want and um, aligning yourself with the feeling of already having it. Aligning yourself, setting that intention, claiming what you want. Uh, organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. Uh, I get the feeling that um, whatever this opportunity is, it's it involves a big sum of money. Um, and they're also using the word deposit. So something may be deposited or you may be depositing a big amount of money, but either way, um, they're, they're saying something about deposit. So um, you'll know if that's you. Um, of course, make sure you always uh, make your own financial decisions, use your own common sense, things like that. And uh, let's look at the second card. It says, ask for your needs to be met. So again, they're bringing up this idea of um, knowing what you want. They're also bringing up the word standard to me just now. Um, they're, they're talking about not settling. So if you have your eye on something, maybe it's a particular job, a particular position, or uh, maybe you are selling something and there's a particular amount that you want to make with that, or it's just if you have some specifics, uh, Spirit is saying to keep those standards up, but okay, they're also um, talking about this idea of give and take. So it's this idea that if you have high standards with something that you are wanting to become or to receive in terms of your abundance, then it's also important for you to consider what you are putting out. And is that on the same level? Is that up to par with what you're hoping to receive? Because what you put in is what you give out. So if you're wanting, for, for example, um, if there is a product that you are wanting to sell, uh, then it's important that, and you want to sell it at a certain price, you have to make sure that it's worth what people, what you're asking for people to pay. 
so that um, it's it's even in that sense. Uh, the card itself says. God and the angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped. And it begins with asking. They're showing me the chariot, okay, in my mind's eye. So they are talking about um, uh, taking some steps. They're also using the word planning. Planning something for yourself, setting things up in order to receive. And uh, they're also saying to be bold, um, to be brave, to be creative, um, to go for the things that you want, to set those standards, but to ensure that um, the energy is balanced. What you put in is what you get out, remember. Um, it says, it doesn't matter how you ask God for help, but only that you do so. The same, and you can replace God with whatever you want to with that, okay? It's just what, says, what it says on the cards. Uh, the same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you okay so if you're needing help make sure that you um, ask others um, they're also bringing up the word collaborate if you want to collaborate with others if you want other people to contribute ideas to something um, they're showing me somebody who is sending out some sort of memo so if you're wanting to start something um, they're okay they're also showing me now somebody who would be starting up uh, like a what is it called? There's some, something like a GoFundMe, maybe something like that. So maybe you've maybe that's something you're interested in or you want to look up or something you are doing. But it's about, okay, they're saying to involve your community. If there's something you want, involve your community in some way, shape or form. Uh, and they're saying to be proactive with that. And the last card you've got is donations and charitable work. And tithing, tithing and charitable work. Let me see there. And the card says, give joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support and inspire you. Okay, so what I'm picking up from that um, is uh, they're, they're talking about uh, not holding on to things too tightly. Uh, they're really, this is quite karmic, um, your reading, Libra, because they are really highlighting this idea of, you know, what you put out is what you get back. Uh, don't hold on to things too tightly because it, it's, indicative of somebody who does not it was not yet in the the flow of um giving and receiving so they're bringing that up to me again so if you then they're showing me four of pentacles okay so i get it <laughs> thank you so if you're somebody that you're holding on to things or they're even saying holding on to ideas and not wanting to share them but they're saying that your your ideas may may grow exponentially with the help of others uh with collaborating with others because uh, some people may have, they're saying some people may have names or uh, w would be able to get something in the door for you. So uh, don't hold on too tightly. Don't keep things to yourself. If um, Try to include other people to make the project bigger if you've got a specific goal with that. Um, know that your generosity will be returned to you many fold in miraculous ways. It's, yeah, getting into that flow. The time, supplies, money, or other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies exactly. So they're saying that um, it's it's your vibrational um, bank account sort of that is the most important in terms of how you feel about this sense of equal give and flow. So remember to... Um, uh, check yourself in that sense if you feel that you're holding on too tightly uh just uh, they're saying to maybe you can have a, a phrase that you repeat to yourself when you catch yourself being in, in resistance to something or just being a bit tight or constricted energetically and you know we all do this sometimes we're human right so no worries but they're just wanting to give a bit of advice to maybe say something to yourself that kind of helps to sort of you know unclench that that tight energy and release it a little bit so you can really focus on maintaining this flow um that may be the thing that you need to to get ready with because i do see in the near future um a, a trade show or some kind of a big event that allows you to get get something out there or get something on the table and it may involve working with people as well okay libra that's what i got for you i hope it helps Please like, share, comment and subscribe if you resonate with my work and all additional information including personal readings will all be down below in the description box. Thank you so much, take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye!